welcome to or welcome back to Amandasaur Art. My name's Amanda and I like dinosaurs and art. Today I'm working on a triceratops drawing. I started off by using a red pencil to do a rough sketch of my little triceratops and then I used a blue pencil to uh, define those lines just a little bit more and then from there I used a black pencil to get my initial outline. After all that is completed that is when I began work on the eye. That is where I prefer to start on my dinosaurs. I've really been enjoying using Procreate to create all of my art recently. It's fun to learn this new medium of digital art. I like the challenge that it brings. It's easier in some aspects, it's harder in others. The easier part is I can just hit undo and everything's fine. The harder part is it's not the same style as I normally like to draw in. And so it makes it a little difficult to find my new style. I think I'm finding something, but who knows. In a week or two, I might like something else more. Again, one thing I really like to make sure I am focusing on whenever I'm creating a piece of art is that I get my values correct, that my darks are dark enough, and that my lights are light enough. As you can see throughout this drawing, I don't really erase the black pencil marks from this drawing very much. I like to keep those in to build up my textures and the layering and so you'll see the messy sketchy lines and I prefer leaving those in. If you wanted to, you can erase them and try to get everything smooth or however you like. This is just the style I like. I like the sketchily look to these dinosaurs. There is a fun fact, I do not draw Triceratops, like, ever. <laughs> I think I've drawn most of the other popular dinosaurs at least twice, and Triceratops is one that I've drawn once and I don't have that drawing anymore and there's a reason for it. <laughs> I don't know why, but the Triceratops is just such a hard dinosaur for me to personally draw. I don't think it necessarily is an advanced dinosaur to draw. For me, though, it is like uber advanced because it I struggle with it every single time. And this is the first time I've ever drawn one where I was so happy with the end result and it makes me very happy that I chose the colors I chose and that I didn't give up. As you can see as I work on the beak of my little triceratops here, I struggled with that so much. I couldn't get the shape right, I couldn't do this right, I was looking at a reference picture and part of me just wanted to give up and just trace the beak at least. because. I just couldn't get it, but with enough determination and enough trial and error, I finally got it to at least be doable. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be able to master the beak of a Triceratops just a little bit better, but today I at least have a beak on there.
I know that the video is not quite over yet, but I just wanted to say that I have this dinosaur along with my Velociraptor in my Redbubble shop if you are interested in getting a print, a sticker, or anything like that. Um, my red <laughs> my Redbubble shop will be linked in the description below. I edited this to where it makes a cuter print instead of it just being in the corner. I wasn't planning on making it a print, so I just didn't, well not a print, but like a red bubble thing, so I didn't uh, plan for that, and so I had to tweak it a little bit. It does make a really cute print and sticker now, which I am kind of obsessed with the sticker look of this, and I kind of want one. So you'll note that I did the white blocking out for the Triceratops to block out where the background's going to be so it didn't shine through. And I just didn't like how it looked with the solid white. So what I did is I made a new layer and then I added white underneath everything like I did previously but I used the pencil, the same, I think it was the 6B pencil as I've been using, to add just a little bit of the color to it but not too much white. I didn't want it to overpower like it felt like it was doing earlier with all that white. And that was <laughs> another great choice to do that instead of just leaving that bright white in the background. And having some of the background shine through, it just, it added so much to this piece, I think. So with this dinosaur, I added color and I experimented with color. That is very scary to me. It's scary to think that I was experimenting with colors and lighting that is very, very out of my comfort zone. So I was very nervous to draw this and do all that other stuff, but I just felt like I had to. I had to get out of my comfort zone and experiment and again. I love how this turned out. It turned out so cool. It wasn't what I was picturing at all, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I had fun choosing the different colors that went with each other, but also were a little extreme. Like when I showed my husband, he uh, commented on my color choices for some of it, he said he really liked how some of those colors came out, and I was really happy with how some of those colors came out too. I'm just so happy with how this one turned out. It, it was really fun to do. I was doubting myself most of the way, mostly from the insecurities of my lack of Triceratops drawing skills. But once I just let go and had fun and added these fun colors, <laughs> all that went away.
So right now you'll also see that I am adding a bright blue for my highlights, uh, like teal, no not teal, turquoise I think is a closer blue. Uh, nice turquoisey color to brighten it up and add, add just that little bit of flair that this dinosaur needed. And I had so much fun adding that blue. It was just the right shade. I also added some purple to be like a shadowy color. I, I just played around with those two and I am so glad that I did. I wasn't planning on doing a toned paper background for this dinosaur, but as you can see with just the base colors I have going on, the white just was not working for this, so I used the same colors as I did for the Velociraptor drawing and it turned out way different tone-wise and all, all that other stuff just because of the color choices I used, which I thought was very interesting. Adding the toned paper background really brought out the blue in my opinion. Like some of the areas were harder to see with the white being so overpowering, but with the toned paper the blue just pops even more and it shows up really nice and so I was really enjoying that. And you could see that hard, hard work, the fun work I put into adding the blue. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support you all have been showing me as I start this YouTube journey. If you'd like to see more of what I do, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested, you can follow me on Instagram, AmandaSoraArt. And I do have this drawing up on Redbubble. I'll leave a link in the description below. Bye guys!